Hello again, Bill Risser with Chicago Title. Today in video number four of our series on Evernote, we're going to talk about tagging and searching. We'll start with tagging. Tags are identifiers that help you categorize notes. Uh, in this example, let's assume that this, this note, I wanted to look at it next month, and I've got a tag I've built for next month. So I'm simply going to start typing the name of the tag, which is 31 next month, and I'll hit tab, and that's in there as a tag. I can add another one. Let's say it's something that I wanted to uh, work on on Sunday, so I can start typing my tag for Sunday and add that as well. So I can have as many tags as I want going across. The tags in combination with the notebooks, which we talked about in a previous video, are then give us a lot of flexibility in how we're going to categorize where our notes belong. A quick look at the tagging system you see here. This is straight from Dean Willett's uh, Evernote for Real Estate Agents book. You can find the link for that below this video. And I like his uh, idea of tagging things based on what day they need to be done, and then going further and for the actual day itself, tagging things in an ABC hierarchy as to what's most important. The A's have to be done today, the B's if I can get to them, and the C's ob obviously last. And then he has a series of tags for next month, next week, maybe someday, stuff I have to read, stuff I'm waiting on, stuff I've completed. And you see these tags below. These are ones I've added for different things I use inside Evernote. The numbering system is important in Dean's strategy because the tags are sorted alphabetically by default and you can't change that. So by using the numbers, you're able to keep them in an order that works for you. So that's what tags are. To create them, it's very simple. You just come up here and create new tag. Or you can simply start typing a new tag over here. If I just call this new tag, it creates a new tag and it's going to be added into the structure over here. You'll find it under new tag, right, since there's not a number. So it's very simple to create them. If I want to delete this tag, you know, I can just backspace it out. Uh, so it's easy to kind of change these tags on the fly, right? So tagging, very simple process. Um, and that leads us into searching. We're going to use some tags when we do our search, but here's how search works. So search is very simple. There's a box in the upper right, and all I have to do is type in a topic, anything that I'm looking for. Um, the example I like to use is Dean. I can look for just the word Dean anywhere in all of the notes. Now, it's only, in this case, searching my notebook for content, but if I hit all notes, it will then do a search for Dean in every single note that I have. So every one of these notes, as I scroll through these, will have Dean somewhere involved in the note. So if I was to look at this post here, it shows me by, it's highlighted exactly which, uh, which area of the note has the word Dean. It'll also come through and once again, it found it here in the bottom of a listing presentation. So this is actually a snapshot or a, a JPEG, a PDF. And then the same thing here, this is a, a interesting way. I had actually handwritten Dean's name on a whiteboard and taken a picture of it and stored that picture in Evernote. It still found the, the word Dean, so it has OCR, or the you know handwriting recognition software, so it can actually find you know the word Dean in any of uh, anywhere that it's located inside Evernote. So the search is extremely powerful. Um, I wanted to make sure that we we talk about that. There are also some other more structured searches you can do. If I want to use my shortcut here on this toolbar and click all notes, I can actually you know bring every single note up. I'm just kind of scrolling up to the top. So this is every note that we have inside Ever, uh, Evernote. I can go by tags and I can say, just show me some things that I want to be reading later. There are just those four posts that have the reading tag associated with it. So I can search by tags. I can search by notebooks. Show me everything in the content notebook. There's everything in the content notebook. Web clips, if I click here, it shows me every single um, note in Evernote that I sent from the web. So I used my web clipper and sent it in and we talked about that in the, in the video part three. Mobile means it came from my phone and files mean there is a file attached whether it's a Word doc, a PDF, or an audio clip. These all have a file attached to it. So if I knew my note had a file attached I could do a quick search here as well. Now these are custom searches that I've created where I've actually saved a search that says show me everything that has today in it and, or everything that today A, I'm sorry, and everything that has today B, and everything that has today C, and this is the strategy I use with these saved searches to structure my to-dos for a single day. So I use custom saved searches to do that. To create a custom search, once you've got a search created, we'll do another one again for Dean up here. First of all, let me go back to all notes. So we search through them all. I'll type Dean up here. 
it'll do a search and it finds everything for Dean. If I decided this is important enough that I want to create a custom search for that, I'll go to File, I'll go to New Saved Search, I'll call it you know, Dean, I'll hit OK, uh, Dean 2, because I already have a Dean, I'll hit OK, and it will now create down at the bottom a custom search just for Dean. So I have a Dean and a Dean 2, they're both the same. But when I click Dean 2, I can do that at any time and quickly pull up just those things with the word Dean in it. If I wanted to, I could actually drag and drop this search right up into my toolbar as well. And that way it's an easier place for me to see it and I can quickly just do a search for either today's stuff or anything that has Dean in it. So tags and searches really make it simple for us to get very organized inside Evernote. Go play with this a little bit. Um, I can't say it enough. Check out Dean's ebook. He really walks you through this uh, in a very careful way. That's it for today. Tomorrow we're going to look at very specific ways an agent can use Evernote, especially with some templates, uh, and we'll be able to talk about transaction management inside Evernote. So go out and make it a great day. Remember any questions, email me at billrister at gmail.com, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.